Okay, I'm going to show you five new features in Alfresco Community Edition 5.0 in under five minutes. So let's log in to Alfresco here. And the first thing I'll do is type in a search term and you will see a live search. So it's immediately doing a search for what matches my search term and it shows me the documents, sites, and people that match those uh, the, that search term. But let me go ahead and um, hit enter. And now I see a new search results page. And the first thing that you'll notice is something that people have been wanting for a long time, which is faceted search. In Alfresco Share, the user interface calls these filters. And you can see that um, I have three documents that are being returned for the search term apples. Two of them are images that have the word apples in the title, and one of them is a text document that has the word apples in the body of the content. If I only was interested in images, I could just click image over here, and now my search results are limited to only the results that are JPEG images. Similarly, I could say I just want to see the text. Click on text, and there's the text result. Now, Alfresco says that uh, additional filters will be appearing in subsequent community releases, and you can also add your own custom filters using the iCal framework. This is cool. You can also, for every search result that you have, you can perform an action. So now you don't have to actually go into each search result to do something with that search result. All right, next is um, the infinite scroll. So let's search for sample. I've uploaded several sample documents. You can see there's a hundred documents matching that search, search term. And it used to be that the search results would be paged and now the search results are uh, basically infinite. It's going to keep fetching search results as I scroll. Next up, this will be a big change uh, for people. It's an often uh, something that people often request, which is changing from defaulting multiple terms uh, to or, defaulting that now to and. So if I, um, I showed you a minute ago that if I search for apples, I've got um, three documents being returned. And if I search for the word bringing, I've got one, one document returned. So in prior releases of Alfresco, if I were to search for bringing apples, I would get those three documents back because Alfresco would default it to or, bringing or apples. Now it defaults it to and, so when I search, I see only the meeting notes. I do not see the images that have the word apples. So search terms are now anded instead of ORed by default. Okay, next is the PDF.js viewer. This just means that when you uh, preview a document, the document does not get converted to Flash, and instead the PDF.js open source project is used to preview that file without Flash. So if I go to Documents, Agency Files, Contracts, and I jump into the project contract, I can see this um, PDF file being rendered natively as a preview in the browser using pure JavaScript. I can still page through the document. I can um, zoom in. I can go, uh, this is kind of cool, you can do a search within the document. So there's that search result. I can maximize. So take a look at that. Next is the HTML editor. So if I go into uh, my site, then I can open up this in the inline editor. And now um, this is using a newer editing component, and which is cleaner and more configurable. You can go to full page, 
if you would like to and work on your document and then save it. So that's a nice enhancement for people that need to edit HTML within their Alfresco share site. Finally, let's look at the site manager. So if I go to the admin console and go to site manager. So previously, when you want to change the visibility on a site or delete a site, you had to uh, go navigate to that site. And now you can see all the sites that you manage within a single list. So that's a nice feature uh, for people that are need to make changes to uh, many sites. Well, that's five new features coming in Alfresco 5.0, and I'm sure we'll be seeing more features as the engineering team releases additional Alfresco 5 community releases. You can read about these on Kevin Roast's blog, blogs.alfresco.com, and I look forward to seeing what comes next.